this is Connor from the Web Armory and today we're going to look at how to create a picture quote using Adobe Illustrator. Okay, once your artboard dimensions are correctly set up, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a guidelines like so. So to do that, you simply drag from the bottom and drag from the left to create your guidelines and you want to add those to the corners of your artboard. And um, this comes in handy as you'll see later on. Okay, so from here, depending on what you're creating, so you might be creating a celebrity quote or you might be creating an inspirational quote and um, whatever you do you're going to want to um, import your artwork so from here I'm just going to paste this picture of Bruce Lee because we're going to be quoting him today and to continue the black background as you can see I'm just going to go ahead and create a black shape there uh, this is where the artboard edge is coming handy so um, obviously the artboard is completely covered by the black here but because I've added the rulers I can actually see the corners and it helps me see what I'm doing a bit better Okay, so my framework for the quote is set up. So if I go to export, save for web, you can see quite nicely there that's set up. That is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. And we've got some nice space at the top right hand corner. Okay, so once we have the framework set up, we want to go ahead and add our quote. So I'm gonna go over here to the type tool. I'm gonna to draw myself an area to work with. I'm gonna paste the quotes in like so. And from here, it's just, case, just a case of formatting it. So I'm going to select a very nice font that I like to use for this is, for this case, which is Pristina. I'm going to select the color over here, like so. I'm going to place that in a particular area that I like. And I'll adjust the text size, like so. Okay, I think that might be appropriate. So what we're going to do, we're going to set the leading to a bit lower there like so and I think there is a good position to work with so from here what I like to do I like to add the quote lines like so but what we're gonna do here we are going to select a different font so if we'll go for monotype course here we're going to right click we're going to go to create outlines and then we're going to adjust the size like so obviously select that to white and what I like to do here, I like to set the opacity to about maybe 10% or give or take. Yep, 10% like so. And I like to add the quote lines here. So I'll just bring those to the front. So range, bring to front, like so. And I like to adjust the size. 10% is, is a bit low. So for this case, we'll go to about 20. Yeah, that's much better. And then holding Alt, I'm gonna click and drag, and that creates a copy over there to use on the other side of the quote. So I'm gonna flip that round. I'm gonna apply the same on the bottom there. Okay, so the quote's in place, and the final thing to do is add the signature, basically from Bruce Lee. So we're gonna hold Alt, and drag, click and drag our text, and that goes over there, we've made a copy. So I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna type Bruce Lee. And increase the size a bit uh, in some cases like I'm torn whether or not to change the color uh, to a slightly different shade of white or a slightly different shade of gray depending on what you work with that's down to personal preference really but placing that there I think that works just nicely the color as it is so we're going to go to file export and save for web and you can see that's complete there so yeah that's a, re that's a relatively simple method on how to create a picture quote